In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to build an AI agent system that will manage all your incoming emails automatically. You'll learn how it labels messages, writes automatic responses and gets you notified on Slack, all without lifting a finger. And don't worry if things go wrong. I'll even show you how to fix any errors that pop up along the way. By the end, you'll have an automated AI agent that saves you hours every week. So let's dive right in. I use N8N. You can start using it directly by paying N8N through their cloud or just self-host it. It's an open source alternative to Make.com or Zapier basically. Me personally, I host it on Render.com for just $7 a month compared to the $20 on their page. So in our dashboard, let's create a new workflow. Then we start by adding a trigger. If let's find Gmail. On message received. If you've never set it up before, you have to set up your Gmail account. I already did that, so you can check the docs and set it up yourself by adding new credentials. The poll time or the period we want every minute, so this trigger will check our Gmail inbox every minute if there's a new email in our inbox. That's it. Let's fetch a test. Great, it works. So next, we need our text classifier. We have to give it the expression we want it to get from our emails. So in this case, snippets, drag it in here. So it gets the email body of our unread email. So next we have to give some categories. Let's add them. I already created some labels in my Gmail account. Most important incoming emails for me, which I want to be labeled. It's like billing, consultation requests or customer support. You can choose whatever you want in here. Let's start by request and give it a description. Here you can go way deeper in prompting your classifier or your LLM later. I just typed in a super simple one. Next is billing. And one more. Customer support. Great. Additionally, give it some system prompt. You can leave the system prompt as is or go more specific, but in my case it worked just fine. So let's test this step. All right. Doesn't work because we didn't have set up our LLM. So let's go to chat models. I use OpenAI chat model. Again, set up your credentials. I did that already. Go just to OpenAI API platform and create new credentials. I presume you will be able to do that. Otherwise, there are more than enough resources online that help you setting this up. So, and for the model again, I use O4 Mini. Let's save this and give it a name Gmail Agent. Go test the step again. Great, it worked. Now, in the next step, we want, after receiving our unread email, text classifier classifying the body or the email in one of our three categories, and then go back to Gmail and label it in Gmail. Find the Gmail node and then select add label to message. Again, I use the same Gmail account I authenticated earlier. Resource message, add label. And in here we have to drag the ID because we want to get the ID of the classified email from before to know which email it has to label. And then select your label. This one was consultation request. Okay, part this, this is no code, so we can just duplicate this. And one more. Connect it to customer support. Now let's name them. Port label. And select the correct label we want here. It's customer support. Great. 
we name this one billing the ID is same and billing right, so just change let's change the name of the first one as well test the workflow. Great, it worked. Now let me write a dummy email to myself. Doesn't matter because we read the body, not the subject line. I have a question to my invoice. Okay, now let's go back and run the test workflow labeled it now let's go back to my gmail and it worked just as it should great now let me delete this one now there's an additional step i want this agent to do for me so in case of consultation i just wanted to take the email label it if it classifies it as consultation request i wanted to craft a draft for me and save it in my Gmail so I can read over it and then finally send it myself. But just do the 80, 90% of the actual work for me. So let's do that at a OpenAI. Let's do that. Go to OpenAI, message a model. Use the same authentication, the API key, those tags, message model, leave that as is. Select the model and you can use O mini. In production, I would definitely use the regular 4O model since it's better, smarter, higher intelligence. So let me check my mails. I crafted some dummy emails I will send myself to test this workflow again. So this one I sent to myself. Great. Save this. Test workflow. So go back in. Right, it couldn't get anything because we have to now set the message with the variables we wanted to take the snippet. Let's check the prompt. Your task is to take the unread emails and craft a response accordingly to it. Get the unread email from Buddy Jason snippet and then write it for the email based on the json.id so we not just the model craft a response but send it back to the correct id great it pulled the body read it and then created and draft accordingly to the specific email great this worked so next after it wrote a draft for me i wanted to send the draft back to gmail and save it as a draft so let's do that Get your Gmail node again and create a draft. In this case, we pull from the output from the previous node, which was our OpenAI node. So pull as an expression, right? And add additional property to it. So in this case, I use thread ID because otherwise it doesn't know to which incoming email this response or this draft belongs to. So get the ID, consultation.id. Save this and test the workflow again. Problem running. Okay, why? So the subject line. Okay. Let's pull the subject. Great, save it and rerun the test. Okay, there's an error. Why? Let's check. Try something else. Oh, the thread ID selected the ID, so this should work now.
Great, it worked. Now let's go to our inbox. Um, let me. Great, it wrote a draft just to fly over it. And if I give the OK, I can send it. Great. Now let's go back. Let's test the billings classification. Let's send this to myself. Test the workflow. It was customer support. OK, and it worked. Great. Let me test billings one. Send it to myself. Test it again. And it just classified it. Let's go back to emails. Billing. Great, it worked. So there's one more thing I want to do, is when I get a customer support email, I want it not just to be an unread email. Additionally, I want to send a message to a Slack channel so uh, my team members from customer support know immediately, hey, I've got a message that there is a new incoming customer support, which reduces the time to response to our current customers drastically. So let's add Slack and then choose send a message so select your auth key i set this up already so to channel send message to channel not to a specific user you could also just select a specific user if you just have one person you want to be notified in slack i select channel and from by id let me put my id you can find the id in your url it's basically the last code in the url just copy and paste it in here Simple text message, new customer support ticket. Let me check if it's possible. I probably have to resend the email. Just let me copy this one, delete, and then let's write a new one to myself. Subject doesn't matter. And support team. Let's run the test. The workflow and it's it sent it to slack let's check slack great new customer support ticket automated it worked so that's the ai agent you could create way more labels and add more actions after that labeling process i chose two different ones one where it creates a draft for me and then saves it in gmail and then another one which i added an additional slack notification for my customer support team so if what you have seen has sparked some ideas, but you're thinking, I don't have time to build this, don't worry, that's where I come in. My team and I create custom AI agent solutions, like the one I showed you and much more. Whether it's automating your emails or streamlining your entire workflow, we can help. Just hit the link below to book a free brainstorming session and we'll figure out how to make AI work for you. So that's it for today. Hope you liked this one.